this is a little bit of a hands-on for the uh, Turnigy 6 4x6 400 watt 4 port charger this is the charger I have it set up right now doing a um, storage charge I have two Traxxas 7600 hooked up and I have one Nanotech 6.0 6000 milliamp this battery here is hooked up to port 1 two Traxxas cells are hooked up to port 3 and 4 so when you go in and you turn on port 2 I'm not using right now so you'll notice right here you got your plus and your minus and you have enter and then this is your stop so here's your lipo balance lipo discharge lipo storage fast charge lipo lipo charge back to lipo balance so you just walk back and forth through these so whatever you choose if you want to choose a discharge or if you want to choose storage basically you highlight which one you want you hit enter now it's, I don't have a battery hooked up if I did it would have let me change my battery type at that point if I was wrong if you were right you would hit enter and it would go into that mode if you were wrong you back out with the red button but um, to change your battery it's in lipo mode you saw we walk up and down through the lipo mode options if you notice the red button let's see if you could read this it says battery type on it also I can't get my phone to focus so if I hold this lipo battery now I can go down nickel metal hydride battery NICAD battery uh, lead acid battery battery memory go into the system settings back to lipo or lithium ion sorry life Lilo lipo enter so when you're in this mode for lipo anything you do it's going to ask you what amp do you want to do it at and are you at 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s so you'll choose whatever matches your pack you'll hold the start button for the three seconds it'll beep it'll show you what it senses on the top row and then it'll show you what you input on the bottom row and it'll ask you to confirm with the enter button if you confirm it will then go forward and continue with that action if you hit the red button it cancels the all actions the fan as you can hear is a little bit loud but honestly it's no louder than uh, I have the MRC uh, Super Brain 977 it's no different I'm running it with the power cables unmodified they are into the Hobby King 540 watt power supply the 110 volt the banana jacks plug straight into the center you don't have to modify the plugs at all it came with one balancing board for the XH I had purchased uh, a bunch more off of eBay for just a couple dollars each uh, my next project I'm gonna have to get some cable and some banana jacks to make some tracks of style plugs and some mini Tamiya plugs and uh, I'll, I'll fill this out and if I like it I'll uh, order another one that way I have two sitting here running I hope this uh, helps you understand this thing. You do have two ports on one side. You have the two ports on the opposite side. Your discharge fan. You can feel coming out of these slots right here. It moves a fair amount of air. It's a very attractive looking piece. And the menus, as you're looking at a port like this is one that's on balance right now, balance for storage. So I can, I'm using the arrow up and down button. I'm just going to use the down. So it's set for an end voltage of six or seven six. Let's see, focus. Input power of seventeen point 
five. Let's go back to there. Seventeen point five four. Now let's go ahead and we'll set this on twenty. Twenty volts. Right there. And we'll go ahead and we'll try to do this one-handed, of course. There we go. So, again, it's reading 17.54 internally to the charger. And we're reading 17.73 at the output of the power supply. So it's reasonable. There's some loss through you know, through the system. Also wanted to show real quick the um, let's see me back out here. If I go oh, lipo enter, okay, lipo balance mode. So you hit enter. Incorrect. Hit enter quickly and it lets you adjust settings. So this is your charge rate in balance mode. So it will show you the range here. So we can push 10 amp in balance mode. If I go past that it jumps back around to point 0.1. Okay, so we can choose up to 10 amp and we can hit enter. So now you see it highlights the 2S. Now we cannot get the 1S, so it's 2S or higher. And basically 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, back to 2. Whenever you get to the, what you need, just tap enter. At that point if you had a battery hooked up, you would do the 3 second hold. Confirm what the screen says is the same on the top, which is it sensing, versus what you programmed on the bottom. Retap enter and it would begin that charge process. All in all, I believe that the software is extremely easy to work. Um, I printed the manual off of the Hobby King website. You can get it off of the, the files link up towards the pricing up there. But um, very easy, very intuitive, and uh, I so far love it.